Hello again, it's Brian here from Excel Dashboard Widgets.com. Um, just doing a little bit of work on this dashboard here, and I thought I'd uh, make a video at the same time I was doing the work, and maybe it'll um, help somebody um, just by watching what I'm doing. So, uh, um, so here we go. I was just tidying up this um, example dashboard um, that comes with the unlocked version of the Excel Dashboard Widgets.com uh, spreadsheet, um, and what I'm planning on doing is to set it up um, so uh, there's, there's there's three uh, widgets um, two dials and a thermometer widget um, for four regions and so northern region southern region eastern region and western region it's a very um, it's a very simple example um, now if we look on the configuration page um, we've already set this up uh, with configuration data, so each of the um, each of the widgets has its own title, um, it has its own units, um, its own value, and a minimum and a maximum for the um, for the for the scales. So basically, all I'm doing is um, linking uh, new widgets to these values and just setting up the dashboard. Um, so similarly, we, we, we have one page, okay, we have a page over here, which is for the dashboard that we're creating. Um, this is the configuration data, which is driving the, uh, the individual widgets. Um, and in behind, we have the, uh, the magic calculations for each one of the dials, um, which moves things like, um, like the dial needle or the thermometer mercury or um, it figures out the intervals for the scales and, and updates the, uh, the text boxes. Um, so this, it's, it's actually very, very quick. Um, before I start, let me just show you one thing. Um, on this example dashboard page, if you come along the ribbon, you go home, along to the end, find and select, you drop down to the selection pane. You can just see the the items that are that are on this dashboard. For example, um, the first one we have is this uh, this web link, um, which is made up of two things: um, a text text box and a background rectangle. Um, we have this header here, which is made up of a subtitle, a date text box, the main title, the background rectangle, and they're all grouped together to make this object here. Then we have this this block here that contains the the three widgets. Um, let's just open that up, that up now. So within that we have the um, the first uh, linear widget dial, and I can open that up, and you can see that's the title, that's the main value. There's the needle. These are the individual text boxes. Um, the makeup going around the different scale values um, and of course if I, if I change the scale so let me just go to the configuration page for that first widget if I change the scale to go from 0 to 50 for example if we go back you'll see that these text boxes have, up, have, have updated themselves they're now going every 10 um, and the value of the dial um, is, is, is readjusted to take into account the new scale. The, the, the value 9 on the needle is now pointing to, to 9. If we change it back to um, from 0 to 10, you'll see that the, the dial will swing right across back to the right again. Let's go back here. Um, over, over here to, so that it shows the, shows the correct value. Um, anyway, let's get on with duplicating this so you can see um, how straightforward it is. So I'm just going to grab this group um, and I'm just going to drag it and press shift so it goes horizontally and vertically. Um, and I'm going to press control at the same time so it makes a copy. And I think I'm going to drop it about there. Um, so there we go. So this is the... Um, that could be the southern region. I can just change that in here. That's the southern southern region. Now you'll notice if I come over here to the um, to the selection pane, 
Um, okay, we have the northern the northern group there. Uh, we have this duplicate of the northern group. Okay, I'm going to move that down. So I'm going to call this second northern group, which contains um, these three um, new uh, widgets. I'm going to call that the southern group. I'm going to come over here, just click it twice. That is the southern region group. Okay, so you'll notice that uh, these widgets are identical. Um, the first, the first dial says nine. The second dial says nine. Um, twenty-two and twenty-two, eighty-six percent and eighty-six percent for the daily widget outlook. Um, that's because if we click the main value here, I'll just click it twice. This main value for this 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 first widget over here, it's still linked to cell D10 um, on the example widget dashboard calculations. Um, which is, if we come across over here, cell D10, which is the main value for this first um, dial value. What we wanted to be showing is this value down here, which is the which is the one below. Um, so I'm going to go across very very quickly. I'm just going to set up this whole row of um, of widgets here, so it um, so they're linked up to their correct values. So okay. So the main value of this first one, it's going to highlight it in the top in the address bar. Type equals, go to the widget calculations. That needs to show a value of 8. Um, now, let's keep going around. Let's do the, um, let's do the scale text boxes. Um, we're going to come across to the, to the selection pane. The first linear dial widget, I'm going to select the first scale value on the right. You can see the text box for the first scale value is selected on the widget itself. Highlight it, press equals. Um, so that wants to be zero. The next one wants to be. Um, next one wants to be two. The next one wants to be. The next one is going to be six, and the next one is eight, and the last one is going to be the maximum value. Okay, so our scale goes from 0 to, uh, to 10, but you'll notice even though the main value says 8, the dial still points to 9, and that's because it's a copy of the widget above. So let's just select the needle. I've clicked it twice, I've selected it. Um, I like to change this now by going to on chart tools, just above the ribbon, go to design, go across and select data. Now this shows you that this dial, um, which is actually an XY graph, it's actually made up of three lines, is pulling its X and Y data from within the um, from the first widget. You'll see this, this dashed area over here on the left. So I'm going to change that now, so it's going to pick it up from the next widget down, this area I'm just waving my mouse around here. To do that, I go along, I click the red um, arrow um, in the select data source box, click it there, highlight that area, and then click the red arrow again, press OK. It's now, that needle has now picked up um, the data, and it's now showing the, the, the correct value. Um, let's just change the title. This is main title here. Daily widget demand. Okay, um, so this first dial widget is now correctly configured. So, for example, if I want to change the value to four, um, and I want to have the scale go from zero to six, let's do that right now. And I want to change the title. We wanted to go. The actual value is four. 
and it's going to go from 0 to 6. Um, let's take a look at the dashboard. Here it is, down the bottom here. That's the one we changed. The scale is going from 0 to 6. The main value is 4. The title is Brian's Widget, and the dial is showing 4. If you wanted it to show 1.2, for example, over there, um, go back to the configuration page, type in 1.2, go back to the dashboard, the dial is showing 1.2. Um, there we go. Let me do the uh, let me do the thermometer very very quickly. Um, okay, this is very easy. The main value. Scrub out what's in before. Type equals in the main box. Um, go along to the end. The main value is uh, sixty-six point seven. The value within the mercury has one less decimal place, so it's actually pu pulling. Um, it's pulling out uh, this value here. I've done the same. No, I've done it right. Um, okay, and the mercury. Um, I'm just going to select. I can either select the mercury directly by clicking twice on the widget, or I can use the selection pane to to pick out the mercury. It's going to the selection pane. We're in the the second group. Um, thermometer widget. Go down to the mercury chart. There we are. I've selected it there. Go up to design. S um, select the data. This is currently pulling its data from this highlighted cell over here on the first thermometer widget. We want to change it so it, it's pulling its data off this second um, thermometer widget. Let's change that now. Click the red arrow, select our new value, drop it back in, press OK. The thermometer is now showing 60%. Um, um, let's just change the title, link that title up. Configuration page. Okay, so if I change the um, if I change the value now for this widget to uh, ten point two percent, let's go across here. The value is ten point two percent, and this is Brian's thermometer. Go across to the dashboard. You'll see it says Brian's thermometer. The mercury level has gone down to 10.2 percent, and the value says 10.2 percent. Um, there we go. Anyway, I hope that uh, hope this helpful um, for some of you that are working with these dashboard widgets. Just show you once again how easy it is to copy it down for the next row. Um, select the block. Start to move it around. Hold Shift so it only moves horizontally and, and vertically. Hold Control so it makes a copy. Um, let go when it's in the right position. Um, and there we have it. That's our next row of, um, of dashboard widgets ready for uh, ready for configuring. Um, okay. If you have any questions um, about this video or about any of the other videos or about any. Um, um, you need any support with setting up these widgets in your in your dashboard project? Um, please feel free to get in touch with us via the forum. Um, thank you for watching.